Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a PvP commentary. We are playing Ghost today, and this video is dedicated to killing them tanks. The question is, can we burst down tanks in this game? Something that I always see, especially on my videos, specifically this build, is that this build would be no good against a tanky opponent. Well, I disagree. I actually think that Ghost is a really strong counter to a tanky opponent, and there's a few really good reasons for it, and I think we can highlight a few of them in this fight here. So as you can see, we're, we're fighting this Nightblade here, and he is very bulky. We're doing very little damage with our attacks to him, and he's got a lot of tank on him, but we've got that Greatsword Ultimate, and there you see the stun into the heavy attack, the Greatsword Ultimate, the power of the light, and down he goes. The armor pierce on that Greatsword Ultimate just cutting through him like butter making our power of the light hit harder as well also giving us bonus damage on our execute and poison injection so a really good combo on this build and I think the reason that it's so good at killing tanky players is because tanky players well Quite frankly put, they rely on their build's bulk to stay alive, so they're not going to be defending or looking for uh, defending against a burst combo like that. And I really like the Greatsword Ultimate with the Armor Pierce, because that means that they cannot rely on the bulk of their build to stay alive. I can kill them with burst really fast, and they have to be aware of it, and they have to actually keep their guard up, even as a tanky player. So I really like that. And there you see we get a great combo on him again, nearly bringing him down, but he reacts well. Well, and he's got a ton of hit point recovery, so if we don't get the nice clean kill on him, it's likely that we're just going to have to uh, reset our combo and try to get him again. And as you can see there, he heals back up, and we get a random 25k defense tick. I'm not going to complain, I just don't understand why, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we're going to continue to fight this guy, and uh, really good counterplay against the Nightblade here. Look how we're predicting his incoming attacks. We're making sure to move around him every time he goes into Cloak. We're either in Mist or we're blocking, so it makes it very hard for him to get the opening on us and drop a stun or anything. And now the keep has flipped, so I take the negate there and decide, okay, we're going to kite this guy out by moving around the pillar here. I see him at the bottom, and I want to put some pepper into this NPC, but I know he's right behind me, even though he's in stealth. So I just drop down again, knowing my build is moving faster than his, and I just run back up the side again, hoping that he dropped down and followed me, and he did, I think, because it gives me enough time to kill the guard there, and then he reopens there with the ambush, and uh, we managed to see the ambush as well. Get a great stun into the great sword alt again and no crit we're unlucky yet again with uh with our combo there and we're just going to continue to pepper this guy he's got an incredibly bulky build a lot of hit point regen and yeah like i said we've got to land that big clean combo like we did at the beginning if we want to take that guy down again uh just quickly putting down the npc there don't want to deal with his shenanigans and continuing to kite out the nightblade getting a lot of really great stuns with my heavy attacks on this guy um he's not doing the heavy weaving himself when he sets me off balance so it's just me getting some really nice stuns on him here there we see another off balance i hold the block he doesn't open because I hold the block. He wants me to drop it, but I do not drop the block until I see the attack. A second player comes up right into the ultimate after the stun. Quickly execute him to finish him off. Oh my gosh, just burst that guy down as the rest of the blue come piling on in here. And now we've got to go full kite mode. There's a lot of blue. I think about 15 blue in here. And uh, I go for a fake down the stairs. And then I come back around the corner. I think the faking is a really good call here. We take a nasty negate. Oh, man. That could have been deadly had we not uh, run out of that in time. One bad stun in that negate. And it's game over. But we manage to get back around the side. Lots of direction change. Lots of splits. And we get out of that tower. I decide not to stay in there because there's too many blue. And they really want me now. Now. So I'm just going to kite back around and see where they go and they end up heading to this resource here So I follow them to the resource and engage with them as they're running uh, away from the resource So these guys get off their horse and they chase me I loop around the outside of the resource so I can get some time to kill the NPCs once I get up here Manage to take down the mage guard. That's the troublesome one I'm not too worried about uh, the other guy because I can just kite him out and the night blade shows up again We try to hit him with a combo there and I actually hit the NPC with my great sword ultimate Oh man, poor aim on my part, but that's okay. We're just going to put a little bit more damage into that guard, and he goes down as well. As another blue player comes in here with the enemy Nightblade to fight as well. And uh, I think it is a Magicka Nightblade, and we've got two more players coming in here as well. So I'm going to have a little bit to work with. So uh, we see the 41k HP player. Oh my gosh. 
this is going to be tricky to kill. This requires a well-timed combo, and uh, yeah, I, I just want to feel this group a little bit. I'm not going to target these tanks just quite yet, but as the fight kind of progresses, you'll see how my target selection switches, and uh, we just kite back over him again. I don't really mind taking the stun from him because he's not going to do a lot of damage. I just want to pull this Nightblade that's been chasing me around out of stealth. We catch this guy by herself. She's not paying attention. Oh my gosh. Easy kill there to bring her down after the stun. And uh, back to finding the tank here. We find another Magicka Nightblade here as well. And we're just going to kite out the javelins from the tank. We end up taking one of those javelins there. And nope, this is two tanks. Oh my gosh, two 40k HP players. And the Nightblade has come back on top of us. We get a great stun off on the Nightblade there. Go for our ultimate. However, I uh, decide to retreat out yet again. Because I want to split these guys up. If I'm taking constant stuns from these tanks, it's going to be very hard to kill anything. So it looks like my last few targets are pretty much all tanky players. I now have to start fighting them, to be honest. So I'm just trying to put a little bit of pepper into each of them to see which one is going to be easiest to kill with my combo here. And this guy is not really reacting to my attacks, but there we see I hit him with the stun, and I think he goes for an invisibility potion. He's not a Nightblade but he definitely just turned invisible there. So uh, we just kite back around. We've got the five-star Nightblade on us yet again. Just do a good job kiting him out there. Counter stun. Just watching what he's doing and making sure to react to it. I'm making sure that he's not hitting me with a stun from stealth here. Really good timing on the block there. We get a good stun into the Greatsword Ultimate. He stays aggressive and ends up cloaking out. We pull him out of stealth with our stealth detect. The first time we've popped the stealth detect on him. Um, however, it was not the drop that... I was hoping to get his hit points to shoot right back up like I said if we don't kill this guy in one shot he is just not gonna go down so we're just gonna have to reset the combo yet again as we kite him out we take uh, another attack from stealth there get a great counter stun on the guy coming from stealth and then we smack her right away crit rush into execute cancel really clean kill to finish her off and now we're just left back to kiting this nightblade he hits us with the stun from stealth I think that's the first time he stunned us out of stealth there just showing the importance of holding block and using dodge roll mist form etc to not allow a nightblade to open on you it makes it so hard for them to deal damage to you and now we're just going to kite it out i know where all three players are we've got the one tank on the staircase the uh, nightblade still chasing me around and here we go we've got him he jumped down he's at 34k hp there's the stun we go for the great sword ultimate into the execute power of the light we bring down the first tanky player there and we just keep kiting out this nightblade um and uh yeah as long as we stay mobile we should be okay against this nightblade go for the block there yet again preventing the stun from the nightblade saving us a lot of stamina really important guys i've said it so many times and not in this video but every video you've got to block the incoming stuns from nightblades it saves your butt so much so we just keep fencing the nightblade here and uh I just want to keep making him move around, honestly. We just got to wait until our alts back up to kill any of these tanky players, man. The ultimate is so important to taking these tanks down. And now this guy is standing here by himself. And if you guys remember, he's been trolling me with javelins for a majority of this fight. There we go. We hit him with the full combo into the stun, the greatsword ultimate, and I'm sticking to the kill here. He tries to heal himself, the nightblade trying to body block and spin to winning, but we bring down the 40k HP tank yet again, and then we open on this nightblade. Great off balance on him there. Get him with the javelin stun, greatsword heavy. Just kind of popping those greatsword heavies as we can to just keep up our sustain on this guy um, because he has been on our tail pretty hard this whole fight there we see we try to land another great sword heavy after the stun the big thing that i do the great sword heavy oh there we see the interrupt on this guy here great sword heavy into the puddle um trying to go for the combo on this guy he goes for an awkward roll and i think he takes a bit of fall damage there because he comes back up the top here to res this guy and look his hp is super low we hit him with the stun into the onslaught into the executioner down goes the tank oh my gosh man no amount of HP, no amount of armor will save you from Onslaught. I love it so much. And now we're left yet again to fight this Stamina Nightblade. Great block on his ultimate there. And uh, we try to go for the counter stun, but I actually end up falling down. So we're just going to come back up top here. We find the Magicka Nightblade here, and uh, we walk right into her fear trap. Oh no, I even saw her put it down. But we get her with the Javelin stun. She does not really respond to it. She doesn't even go for a heal. She just sets down another fear trap, and before it arms, we finish her off. So that trap's going to be gone. And uh, now we're left yet again 
with this bulky stamina nightblade man and just blocking his attack out of stealth yet again there's the off balance partial charged heavy javelin into the great sword ultimate we hit him super hard Lots of damage there, nearly bringing him down. He does a great job with the defensive rolls there, managing to hang on. And we're just going to go for a little bit of a kite, reset our buffs here, and re-engage. We end up dotting up the Nightblade, get a good block on his attack there. Go for the stun on the Nightblade. We take the counter stun as well, but we're not in, and we're not in big trouble at all. So I just sit on the ground. Hit points still high. However, that was not correct. There you see, we actually end up going down to a health desync. Look at the death recap and just look at how we had 13k HP to zero when we go down. So anyway, guys, that was the clip that I had for you. I wanted to just uh, show off Ghost killing some tankier, more experienced players because it definitely can and it does a good job doing it, but it's dependent upon your mechanics more than anything else. The ability to pierce your arm the ability to pierce your opponent's armor simply means that if they're not going to actively defend themselves, you can actually burst them down on a build like this or with an ability like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. We feature community content for top five PvP battles, and we also feature builds on the channel. If you guys want to send in anything, send it to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. You guys can catch me live on Twitch. All this gameplay was filmed live on Twitch, so you guys can... Uh, Get a link to my Twitch in the description below. And finally, we are sponsored by What the Fast. They're a VPN for gamers, and they give me better ping to ESO. They're free to try for the first 14 days. So if you guys want to give them a shot, check out the link in the description below. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope to see you again next time.